All right, guys, if you're uh, into micro brands like I am, then I'm sure you're no stranger to the NTH brand, but this Devil Ray, Chris and his team, I think really outdid themselves with this guy here. There's a bunch of different colorways for it. Um, I think this turquoise one looks great, and there's some other color play going on there, obviously with the orange minute hand, and then if you look inside there, you can see just in between the crystal and where the chapter ring inside comes up you can see some red and some orange and some yellow and then you have some more turquoise matching the dial so very very cool color combos here and then it, you have that little splash of orange at the end of the seconds hand too so overall this is a very cool unique designed watch that stands alone i think it's uh, very um it may stimulate some familiar design aspects that maybe you guys are you know, you're like, well, maybe it looks like this or it looks like that. But, I mean, really, this thing is, it's all its own thing. So, um, it has a combination of other inspirations, I'm sure. But it is definitely its own thing. And this is going to be uh, the Devil Ray through and through. So, um, let's talk about some measurements real quick. This is a 43 millimeter width, not including the crown, of course. And lug to lug, I measure 45.7 and then the thickness, um, I tried to grab it um, from case back to the top of the bezel here without the domed crystal. I think I get about 13 millimeter there. If you add in the dome and the crystal, you're going to be at 13.8. You have a 22 millimeter lug width and, a, and the bracelet does taper down to a 20 millimeter. It's hard to see that because how dynamic this bracelet is, but it does actually taper down. So... Before I move on from that, I do want to talk about the bracelet real quick. So I do have some links here from the sizing process, but you can see this is five links all the way across and they are angled. So it's pretty dynamic really. Um, and they, you can see they move independent, independently of one another because they're five individual links. And so you're going to get a crazy good fitment. So, I mean, it just wraps around. I mean, you can fold it over on itself. I mean, it's going to be super comfortable. So other than, you know, my my one, see, it does it, though. So, like, you know how you, you guys know how I like the center link of the end link to be articulating. But when it's done this way, it kind of does the exact same thing. Yes, it extends the overall lug to lug, essentially. But as long as it can fold back on itself and come flat, and then you already have a shorter lug to lug, it kind of really doesn't matter with this watch. I'll throw it on the wrist and you'll see what I mean. So you can see that that shorter lug to lug is gonna make it fit, you know, familiar, like kind of Seiko-esque type feel to it on wrist. But these guys are already uh, in a downward slope, so it's gonna be like, a, you know, curved down lug lugs there so and then you have this bracelet it's just going to form to whatever wrist size or shape that you have so it's going to fit no problem and then you just have a a simple two button uh, clasp here and then you have the dive extension as well so really well done great bracelet great watch this i'm sure this took uh, nth a long time to develop this watch because um, it really shows in its final product. This is not something that was thrown together quickly, I'm sure. So you can see you have the sawtooth style bezel grip, and then it's also mimicked here on the uh, crown, which screws in and out like perfect. It lines up everything really good. The wind action on it is really good. The One of the main things I like about this is it has that monster kind of style um, inner chapter there where it has the cutouts for the applied indices. I really like that look. It gives the dial a lot of dynamic. So very well done. And then I don't know how they fit that in there with that extra little color ring in there, but that is so cool. That gives it a really nice playful look. Very legible. And then you can see you have like a, a syringe style um, hour hand there. And then you can see where the tip of it comes right to the very edge of the applied indices. So everything just kind of works together well. So let's talk about the bezel a little bit. I already set it up so I can get um, 
you know, a 15 minute click here, you have very smooth, um, crisp action here, 120 click. But if you look, we have two different uh, numbers here. Uh, you've obviously seen that done before in the DOXAs. Um, this is laid out a little bit different. In the DOXA, it was for decompression numbers and everything. Um, this particular model, Chris uh, and the gang over at NTH did something a little more useful for us. Of course, you have your, your count um, bezel on the inside here, but on the outside, you have your... Um, you know, your 1 through 12. So you could actually set it up and track a set, second time zone or something. So you could just put it, you know, wherever you want to for the hour. So you could track another time zone. So kind of doubles as like a makeshift GMT, if you will. Um, but then you can also time things with the other uh, rings. So pretty, pretty useful if you guys have that need. So we'll take a look at the case back here. You can see that it's very well done as well. Has a little bit of information and some sort of double ray. So pretty cool. The movement used in this guy is the STP-1-11, which is, I was reading some articles on it and uh, I'll try to put a link in the description of an article I found. And it basically is very, very similar to an ETA 2824-2, okay? Um, there is some changes done to it, like a, they added a joule, so it actually increased the power reserve from 38 to 44 hours, um, and then the accuracy, um, you know, can be adjusted the same way that it can be on an ETA. I did, this was sitting on my uh, table here, and I have not worn this, so it's cold, which Believe it or not, it makes a difference. If you have it on your wrist and it's warmer and uh, you're wearing it naturally, um, you're going to get different accuracy reads. But I just picked it up and I you know, did a little shuffle to it, got it going, did a little wind to it to make sure I had enough wind on it for the amplitude. I threw it on my time grapher and I face up without doing anything, not wearing it or anything, I was getting very steady anywhere from either a zero to a negative two um, seconds per day read on the time graph on a face up so with a very solid amplitude so not, at least with this particular watch um, there's no complaints there with accuracy it's going to be you know they I think they rate them as uh, plus minus 15 seconds something like that so but you know just picking it up and giving it a quick wind and throwing it on a time grapher it uh, netted some really good results there so let's close out with a really good loom shot because NTH is also known for doing some good loom. So this is kind of a total package watch. So you can see there it's uh, nice and bright. Well done. Um, probably, <laughs> I mean it's Seiko bright guys. So, and there's just a lot more loom there. So visually um, it's way more appealing to the, to the eye. So very fun watch, very cool. Um, these come in at a price point at, I believe, $700 is where they're at. But if you go to the NTH uh, website, which I'll put a link in the description, they are out of stock. So I will also put a link in the description to his distributor, which is watchgauge.com. That's the USA distributor. But if you go to the, um, there it is next to a turtle. If you go to the nthwatches.com website, um, there's a link in there for some other distributors as well. I just I will also provide the USA one. Here it is next to a turtle. You can see that um, this this guy's going to work pretty good on some smaller wrists as well. You can see the the effect of lug to lug is going to be longer, but the overall appearance and size of the watch is going to fit. I think really nice. So very very cool. I'm glad I was able to check this guy out, and I really do like these colors on this guy. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next video.